Hello everyone. At school you usually cover topics like light and sound and the electromagnetic spectrum, the, the former in uh, Key Stage 3 and the latter in Key Stage 4. So this video is really designed for anyone that's studying anything about waves because what we're going to talk about in this video is the difference between a transverse and a longitudinal wave. Now this is one again of the sequence of a few videos I'm doing about uh, wave theory and another I'm going to look at amplitude, frequency, wavelength and wave speed. But in this one we're just going to outline the key difference between the two. Now if we take our longitudinal waves, or in fact, first of all, let's consider what waves are, because that really underpins this. Waves are vibrations that transfer energy. Now I think I just want to write that at the, the top, because that, even though we're saying the difference between the two, we need to consider that that ultimately is what a wave is. It's a vibration... that transfer energy. Now that happens from place to place without matter, as in solid, liquid or gas, being transferred. So waves are vibrations that transfer energy, but when we look at the, the two that uh, we're going to consider transverse and longitudinal, they are very different. So let's consider transverse first of all. Transverse waves can be represented a little bit like this. So we're going to do transverse first. A sort of typical shape that you uh, might recognise. Transverse waves are waves in which the vibrations are at right angles to the direction of travel. So in this example, the vibrations occur in this direction. So I'll just put there, vibrations. But the actual direction of travel is this way. So the vibrations occur at 90 degrees to the actual direction that the vibrations can, are happening. Now, light and other electromagnetic radiation are transverse waves. So when you think of the electromagnetic spectrum, we've got light, UV, infrared, uh, gamma, they all travel as transverse waves. In fact, water waves and S waves, which is a type of seismic wave, also are transverse waves. So that's what a transverse wave would look like. But a longitudinal, let's consider the longitudinal wave. The longitudinal wave is slightly different because the longitudinal wave if I just draw this for a moment You can see it looks slightly different. It's not, it's not got such a, a curved shape. In, with a longitudinal wave, what we have essentially are vibrations occurring in the same direction as travel. If you think back to a, a sort of childhood toy, the slinky, when you push the slinky on a floor like flat, you see these what are called compressions, regions where the waves start to well, compress and become closer. And then in other areas of the slinky, you can see they almost seem to be, or parts are moving further away. And these are called rarefactions. So when with longitudinal waves, what we have are regions of compression. So we'll just label these on here. So these are regions where we get compression. And here we have regions where we get rarefaction or spreading out. Now again, the vibration this time I can say is traveling in this direction. So I can put there vibrations. And that matches the direction of travel. 
So longitudinal waves, the vibrations occur in the same direction as uh, motion, essentially. Now, one key difference to note is about what these waves actually travel through. Now, some waves must travel through a substance, and the substance is known typically as the medium. And by, by medium, we talk about solid, liquid, or gas. Now, sound waves and seismic waves are like this. They need to travel through a medium. And it's the medium, the particles of the medium, that vibrate as the waves travel through. So clearly, we're referring to longitudinal waves there. So longitudinal waves need a medium to travel through. The transverse waves, however, do not need to travel through a substance. They can travel through a medium, but don't have to. So we're talking like microwaves, infrared, visible light, anything on the electromagnetic spectrum would come under this kind of umbrella. So transverse waves don't require a medium uh, to, to be transmitted, essentially. They can actually travel through empty space. And by empty space, the best example is the vacuum of space. In space, there are no particles, so the waves, particularly infrared radiation, can transmit, for example, very easily through that vacuum. You don't need particles to cause the vibrations, essentially, or to, to vibrate to transfer the energy. So there are our key differences between transverse and longitudinal waves. Transverse waves don't require a medium to travel through, or however, they, they do transfer energy through vibrations. The vibrations are at 90 degrees to the direction of the travel. And longitudinal waves do require a substance or a medium to travel through, and the vibrations are in the same direction as that of the actual uh, direction of travel of the wave. And longitudinal waves consist of compressions and regions of rarefactions. Okay, hope that helps.